This is the 2023 KTM 300 XC. And I'm absolutely amazed at the amount of changes that have happened to this bike. I haven't even ridden it yet, and I'm going, there are more changes to this thing than KTM has ever done the entire time that I've been paying attention. I can walk around this 23 KTM and see more changes to this bike than I've seen KTM do ever, ever. It's pre-mix too. I mean, I didn't even mention that. It's throttle body injection. Model year 22 to model year 23. Like, it's an entirely new bike, and I know they always say that. You're like, oh, all new bike, you know, Yamaha, Honda, whatever, Kawasaki, it's like, all new bike. This freaking thing is all new. It would be easier for me to, to list the things that I have just looked at, looked at that they didn't change. I just spent a few minutes so like walking around it and I wrote it down on, here on just like my little whiteboard. These are the things that I noticed just visually that have changed on this bike and I couldn't be more excited about it. Let me walk you through. I'm just gonna read off my list. Hour meter, the hour meter has changed. The map switch, there's a new map switch that comes stock on these things, it's right up on the handlebars. The stop and start kill switch has changed. By the way, I'm not saying all these changes are gonna be great. I don't love the stop and start kill switch thing. It, I don't like it on the same side and it's a little bit harder to push, but granted, it's changed. The front fender is crazy bulbous. It's huge front fender here, and it's got these weird little wings that I think are gonna make it really stupid to clean, like harder to clean to get mud off of, but that's changed and it's really super fat. The rear fender, I've been complaining about the rear fender and the rear fender design on these, on these KTM bikes for the last few years. They've totally changed that. The uh, radiator shrouds, they come way out. I think it's gonna be harder to get aftermarket plastics for these things now, but they come way out. They stick way up and pointy. Um, that is totally different. Uh, what else? Uh, the seat, totally different. Not only is the seat different, but where it bolts, because now it bolts up on the top instead of underneath or instead of on the side. So that's totally different. Uh, the silencer, this is almost like a shorty silencer down here. That's totally different. The radiator cap is totally different. The radiator elbows down here. Now they have elbows that are like, they go up, so it gets it away from your exhaust and away from the power valve on the other side. So I think the power valve puncture we've been complaining about on the other side is gonna be a thing of the past because the way they've changed uh, the fork guards, the fork guards down here, they are totally different, totally redesigned. Uh, the air box, totally different air box. The way that the air enters is now under the seat right here and the whole air box is redesigned. Uh, the power valve, power valve over here, it's no longer adjustable. It's completely electronically controlled. Now we're no longer using keys. The head mounts have totally changed. The head has changed. The throttle body has changed. There is an idle screw right on the bike, right here, it's great. You've also got a cold start button down here that you can adjust. Uh, another thing, crazy, finger clickers on the shock. I've never seen finger, I don't think I've seen finger clickers on the shock. You got finger clickers for the high speed compression, low speed compression, and Finger clickers for the freaking rebound down here on the shock. Yes, there are finger clickers up on the forks, but that didn't change. We had finger clickers before. Uh, the swing arm is totally new down here. Totally new swing arm. Totally new chain guide. And the skid plate. They put a skid plate on the XC, which we never had a skid plate on the XC before stock. And it actually bolts to the frame. Now it doesn't cover the linkage, but I think there's gonna be a KTM power part that you can bolt on here to cover the linkage as well. It just doesn't come with it stock. The frame is entirely new. Everything from, you don't have the ability to take out your steering stops up here, the way it sits on my, on my stands, that's all different. So the frame is completely redesigned. It looks nothing like the old frames. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Oh, kickstand, holy crap. I gotta spin this bike around just so I can be on that side of it. I'm sure I'm gonna be running in uh, footage of all this stuff. Totally redesigned and with a totally redesigned spring. Now this spring, now the bolt that goes in here to hold this spring on, the spring is much bigger, which I think is gonna be better and it's actually bolting into the frame uh, into this, uh, the, this, the steel frame instead of bolting into the bloody aluminum kickstand. So I think that's gonna be a huge thing that's gonna be better. Uh, the foot pegs, totally different. The foot pegs are wider. They stick out a little bit further, I think. I'm not sure they stick out further, but they're wider. They're totally redesigned uh, foot pegs. The fuel tank is different. The fuel pump, where the fuel pump is on the on the on this guy, is totally different. It's accessible from the top. The battery box, I don't have my seat off. I'll pull that. I'll pull that off and run some things on. The battery box is in a different spot. The battery is flipped over. The ECU is in a different spot. Totally different design. The fuse block and everything under here under the seat is totally different. Uh, the subframe, it's a different type of a subframe where it's like kind of a hybrid aluminum and composite subframe, which is totally new. Uh, the handguards up here are new. The kickstart, like 
of course, kickstart is gone. We knew that, but they removed even that, the, the, the spot over there where the kickstart, where you could kind of put that in before, like it, as an aftermarket thing, that is all gone. So like the engine case is redesigned. Uh, let's see, there are, di these are different wheels. Um, they're not the same wheels that we had before. They're the same size, but they're not the same wheels. The MX33F, that used to come with an AT81 on the front. It's still coming with a Dunlop AT81 on the rear, so it's a new front tire. Uh, the air boot back here is different behind the throttle body. Um, oh, oh, also, just gearing, like front sprocket now. This is a 14 tooth front sprocket where they used to be a 13 tooth front, front sprocket. And now we've got a 49 tooth rear sprocket where that used to be a 51. That's just literally me waiting for my heat to turn on, walking around the bike with the freaking dry erase marker. And I noticed all of those things. Haven't even ridden the sucker yet. Okay, I'm really surprised here. The bike comes in. The way I do this is I weigh the bikes full of fuel. I just top that sucker off so it's all the way with gas. This sucker weighs 239 pounds, which is 108.4 kilograms. It's crazy because it's even got a skid plate on this bike. They, add, they changed all the stuff, and this is one pound lighter than my 2021 XC bikes. I didn't weigh it in 20, I didn't weigh my bikes in 22 because I was a moron and I forgot. Uh, before I started putting aftermarket parts on and stuff. But this sucker, one pound lighter than the last time I weighed the XC bikes on this exact scale. And so they found a way to change all that stuff, remove the oil injection, remove that oil pump, which is probably a lot of where that pound comes, but like new swing arm, new everything, all the things we've been talking about, and it's still a lighter bike. I'm absolutely excited, I love this stuff. I've avoided like all the content on this bike. Like if anybody has said anything about this bike, I have not watched any of those videos because I just wanted to make my own, con make my own conclusions uh, with it. This bike, I'm probably not going to ride. This is a 300XC and I will be giving this away as a sweepstakes bike that will start on Black Friday here at the end of November and it'll go through the end of the year. This will be one of my sweepstakes bikes. That's amazing for you because these bikes are basically impossible to find. Everyone wants them and no one has them. Everywhere you go, there's a list a million miles long to get one of these bikes. And if you're not on a list, you're probably not gonna get it. Well, guess what? I'm going to give this bike to one of you guys. So I'm just gonna give it away in its brand new stock form because I'm gonna get a 250XC version of this bike very, very soon. It's already at a dealer. I just need to go pick it up. So I will ride the 250XC version of this because I'm going into desert season and I'd rather have a 250 for desert season. Um, so this bike, 300XC, is gonna go to one of you guys, a lucky viewer of this one. I'll probably also be giving away a 300XCW at the same time in that sweepstakes, so stay tuned for that. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? Guys and gals, I haven't been this excited about a new motorcycle model for a minute now. And this thing has got me lit on fire just because of all the changes. I mean, it is, the amount of changes, that's freaking crazy. That's freaking crazy. I love the fact that their KTM is pushing this stuff forward. Now the same thing's gonna happen with the Huskies. Your Husky TX 300 is gonna be super similar. Your uh, Gas Gas EX 300 is gonna be super similar. But um, I'm just really excited. I don't know if you can tell it in my voice. Super excited. So won't be riding this bike, at least I don't think I will. I will be riding the 250XC and the content will come out over the next couple of you know, weeks slash months. If you wanna support this stuff, use the links to Rocky Mountain ATV. Use my links for Rocky Mountain ATV. It won't cost you anything. When you click on my links, you can buy anything they sell and it gives a kickback to me and it helps keep this stuff coming. Every little bit helps. If you've ever par participated in one of my sweepstakes, which this is gonna be a sweepstakes, bikes, guys. In December, somebody's gonna win this sucker. So watch for that starting Black Friday through the month of December. Somebody's gonna win this bike. Somebody's also gonna win probably a 300, a 300 XCW. Not probably. We will have a 300 XCW and this bike up for grabs in the month of December. So please use my links. Please watch for when the sweepstakes starts. Go to my website, dirtbikechannel.com. This is so exciting. Super, super excited. I can't wait to get the 250XC version of this bike and ride that sucker. So 239 pounds. You heard it here first. Well, I don't know. You probably heard it on somebody else's channel, but that's what I've got for you on this bike. Dang, I'm excited. Okay, let's hit, let's hit it. Leave a single track.